Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in the last video we have seen that whenever you write a JSP it gets converted into servlet and we have seen the theory of it, right? In this video we'll see the implementation for that. Now just to implement it, I am using a NetBeans IDE, we can also do that with Eclipse but then NetBeans provide you one feature which is you can actually see the converted servlet of a JSP. To do that, let me get a project here and I will, I will make a, a web project and I will name this project as demo JSP because we wanted to see the, the implementation for JSP. Now the server I'm using is a, here is Glassfish, you can also use Tomcat, that's fine. Uh, let's say next and finished. We don't want any of the frameworks here. Okay, so once you got this HTML, once we got this project, we don't want HTML, I want a JSP page. So what I will do is in this uh, in this project, I will say new and let me make a JSP and I will name this JSP as um, anything. You can have hello.jsp, you can say this is hello or hello.jsp and when you click on finish. Okay, so you got your JSP page here, right? And we can write Java code now. Now, as we know, if you want to write a Java code inside inside JSP, in fact, before doing that, let me just run this code just to see if it is if it is giving the output. Uh, so I will say run file. It will take some time to load. Okay, so you can see we got the output as hello world in your Internet Explorer browser. Okay, so we got hello world, right? But then we don't want hello world. We want to execute some Java code. So what we will do is we'll write our scriptlet the way we do. So this is our scriptlet tag. And inside this, I will write some Java code. So what Java code I will write, I will simply say hello world. But then this time I will not print hello world from here. I, I want to print hello world from my Java code. So I will, I will say out.print ln. And here I will write hello world. And if I give a semicolon just to run this code once again, so let's run this code. And you can see if I go back to my browser, uh, it says, okay, it says to do write content. Okay, let's run this once again. Okay, so you can see we got hello world. I guess some other file was running there. So we got hello world here. Now this time it is from out.print. So as I mentioned, everything gets converted into servlet, right? Can we see a servlet of this? In NetBeans, you get an option of, so when you right click on your file in NetBeans, you get an option of view servlet. So you can also see how this getting how this is getting converted. So if I click on view servlet, uh, you can see the class. So the class it's create is the with the help of file name itself. So the JSP file name is hello.jsp. The class name becomes hello, uh, hello hyphen JSP. It extends a class called as HTTP JSP base. I mean, you don't have to buy hard this, but then knowing it will not make any harm, right? So, uh, so that is one thing. Now, the service method normally in do get uh, in in servlet we write do get do post. Here we have underscore JSP service. So this is the method we, which we actually use. And if you can observe, all these objects are have been created here. And that's why we say, you know, JSP has all the implicit objects by default because it, it is there with you. So you can see we got all the objects available here. And you, you also have out, the out we, we used to use. And this out is an object of JSP writer. Okay. Now all these objects are actually given by the container, but then you can refer this with the help of this code. Okay. And then the code, the statement which we have written is out.println, right? And you will find that in, in, in this code. You can see that we got out.println. So whatever you write inside scriptlet becomes a part of your service. But then what if you want something which should not be a part of a service? So I will go back here and example, if I, if I create a variable, if I say int i equal to nine, but I don't want this variable i to be created inside my, inside my, inside my uh, service method. So example, if I click on view servlet now, and if I see, uh, is it being created? Um, I don't think so. Let's run this code once again just to get that file. So I'll right click this and say run, us run, uh, run file so that it will compile the file once again. And now if I see the JSP, or if I see the servlet of this, so if I click on view servlet and let's go up, can you see that we got int i equal to 9, but this int i equal to 9 is a part of service method. I don't want it to be a part of service method. I want to declare this outside. And that's why we have to use a special tag which is a declaration tag. So if I say 
percentage and not now this becomes part of your scriptlet i mean this this becomes part of your uh, class right but not the method so if i declare a variable here if i say int i equal to 9 and if i remove it from here now since we are declaring that in a declaration tag now it becomes a part of okay before checking everything we have to run this file so that you will get the compilation of the uh, thing and now if i click on view subject you can see int i equal to 9 is not a part of the method but if you scroll up and somewhere you will find int i equal to 9 so you can see we got int i equal to 9 in the declaration section right so that's how we do it that's how you use those two tags so if you want to write something in the service method we can write we can use this uh, scriptlet tag which is this one if you want to write something outside the method you can use declaration tag uh, we can also achieve the percentage which we have discussed uh, the the expression tag so if you remember so if i say uh, this one the expression tag now here if i mention something if i say i want to print the value of i so when i when i try to print the value of i here if i right click and run uh, you can see i'm just writing i but in the if i if i see the servlet file of this if i right click this and if i say view servlet again okay now you will you you can see if i scroll down uh, the i is actually a part of print ln or print right so whatever you write inside the expression tag becomes a part of uh, out dot print and th in the same way we can also go for uh, maybe import so let's say if you want to import a package so what you can do is you can write at a uh, percentage uh, percentage add rate and you can mention page then you have to mention import and when i say import java dot util dot date now what will happen is it will import that particular package okay now where it will import uh, i mean where it, will, where it will be coming where, where that import will be there so in, in normal classes we do that at the start of the class right or start of the file and if i look that look look for that here and if i scroll up uh, can you see the import now so in import we also have java.util.date and this is your directive right so we have these four tags in in jsp and whenever you write this code it gets converted into servlet so tomcat don't run jsp but then also jsp file gets converted into servlet and you can use uh servlet on tomcat so yeah that's that's how you get you get you convert your jsp into servlet and that's how you write all these codes so i hope you enjoyed this session if you enjoyed do click on, do click on, click on the like button and do subscribe for for the videos